In this video, you will learn how to modify database tables from Nyman Analytics platform. Let's jump into it. Let's first look at how to create a new database table from Nyman. You can do it, for example, with a TB table creator node. This node has an optional data table port for table specs. In the configuration dialog, you first need to provide the name of a new table. Next, if a table with the same name already exists, you can define whether you want to replace it, keep it unchanged, or stop the execution. Alternatively, you can check and remove the table with a TB table remover node. For some databases, this node also allows the cascade option to remove all the dependent tables and views. But let's get back to the DB table creator. The default option, Use Dynamic Settings, means that the database table will be created automatically based on the input data table spec. In this case, the columns and keys tabs responsible for manual database table creation are in read only mode here. In the Dynamic Type Settings tab, you can change the type mapping between NIME data table and the database table. For example, if you want all integer columns in NIME to be written as double columns in the database, in the NIME based SQL type mapping tab, click Add. In the menu under NIME type, select Integer. And in the second menu under SQL type, select Double. Not Null option will prohibit missing values in these columns. You can also map types for columns with particular name patterns. In the Dynamic Key Settings tab, you can define unique keys for the database table based on the column names, and define one of them as a primary key. The DB Table Creator node then creates a new table, but at this point it is still empty. You can insert data into the table with, for example, a DB Insert node. In the Configuration dialog, you need to select the table that you've just created. Next, you need to select the columns to insert into the database table. Note that the selected columns need to exactly match the columns in the database table. The NIME database extension provides several alternative nodes to load data to a database table. For example, if your database supports bulk loading, you can use the dbloader node to insert a large amount of data. A dbwriter node is very flexible and lets you create a new database table or write an existing table, or append rows to a table. However, it does not allow you to control the database table structure. Additional nodes, for example, dbmerge, dbupdate, and dbdelete, are available to update database tables with local data from NIME. Now, what if you want to update a database table based on an SQL query? For example, you aggregate data on a database and want to directly create another database table without reading the data into NIME. You can do this with a DB Connection Table Writer node. In its configuration dialog, you need to define the name of a new table and decide if you want to create a new table or write an existing table or append rows to an existing table. At this point, once the table is imported from a database to NIME, this timestamp column is in string type. If you want to convert it to, for example, local date and time type, you can fix it with the DB type mapper node. In its configuration dialog, in the column name menu, select the column and in the mapping menu, correct mapping, string to local date and time in this case. Now, this column is in the appropriate data type in NIME. In this video, you have learned how to delete and create a database table, how to move a table into a database from NIME or a database, and finally, how to map data types between NIME and a database.